Okay, YouTube family and friends, I'm in my apartment in Nairobi. Let me just start off with saying this is not a cooking tutorial. This is me showing you what I have to do when I want to make something, but I don't have the items available. I'm not really a person that likes a lot of sweets. So let me just start off. When I cook, I wear my bonnet because I don't want no hair flying in my food. <clears throat> I'm not really a person who likes a lot of sweets, but every once in a while, I want something. Um, I'm making something that's not really an apple pie. It's basically fried apples with pie crust in a basket weave pattern on top. So necessity is the mother of invention. We don't have um, pie pans here, so I'm using a casserole dish. Um, normally when I make this, uh, in America, I just go to the store, I'll buy canned biscuits or even pie crust, cut it up, I buy canned fruit. None of that is available here. If you want it, you better know how to make it. There's no easy puff pastry, there's no canned biscuits, there's no pie crust. When I tell you, you better know how to make it from scratch, you better know how to make it from scratch. Um, I know how to make some things from scratch. Um, if I forget, <clears throat> it's fine. I have the internet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Additionally, one of the other challenges here is the metric system. So, um, back home when I cook, a lot of times I say I don't use measurements. I just go off of what I know. So, it has really been to my benefit. I'm making this little thing that don't have no name to it. It's basically a, a fried apples, kind of like an apple pie filling with pie crust that I made from scratch. I wish I had video of myself making the pie crust, but you know you don't want to touch the phone. My pie crust is in the refrigerator chilling right now, but I wanted to show y'all what I have. So this is my greased up, like I said, I'm using butter casserole dish that I'm gonna put the filling in. And again, there were no canned apples, so I had to peel, core, and slice up my apples. Um, I have cinnamon, nutmeg, um, essence of vanilla. Um, I did not have lemon, so I used the juice of an orange and sugar in here, just simmering down to the consistency that I want. And then uh, once it gets as tender as I want, I think I have cinnamon and nutmeg. I'm gonna with the sugar. I'm gonna pour it in here. And then I'm going to do my basket weave pattern over it with the pie crust. I am going to show y'all my basket. I'm going to try to remember to show you my basket weave pattern uh, before I put it in the oven. I am going to show y'all my chilled pastry dough. This is my dough that I have in my saran wrap that's been sitting in the refrigerator chilling for about two hours. Once I get ready, I'm going to roll that out. And excuse me, I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator. Roll that out and do my pattern. Another thing that I'm just going to tell you about now, which I'm not doing today, is some of my Kenyan friends here that I've met have really wanted um, to taste cornbread. They've heard about cornbread, but they've never had it. So... I went to the store looking for cornmeal. Because of course, there's no boxed um, cornbread here. So I wanted to make it from scratch. Could not find cornmeal. So <clears throat> what is a substitute for cornmeal? Well, they had corn flour, but corn flour just really isn't gonna give it the consistency that I need. So I don't know if you all are aware that polenta is a substitute for cornmeal. So I'm gonna be using this to make cornbread, not today, but I just wanna give you all a heads up that sometimes you have to know what's a good substitute for other things to make what you need to make. All right, so stay tuned for this, like my version of like a apple, I don't know, pie-ish. Um, and I'm gonna let y'all know how it tastes because of course I'm hosting a dinner tonight. I made a beef stew um, with sauteed vegetables, cabbage, and rice. And I'm having this as a dessert. All right. Bye-bye.
Okay, the apples are done and they are in the pan. I know y'all saw the little um, the photos I took. All right, next I'm going to roll out the pastry and make my basket weave. Okay, y'all, my basket weave is done. <clears throat> I put a few little extra crust pieces here because. I had some extra crust. I think it looked pretty decent. I'm going to sprinkle some cinnamon sugar on top. And then this bad boy going in the oven. I hope it tastes good. It looks good. It turned out okay. I saw my, I use shortening and butter. So um, I'm hoping it's going to be moist and tasty. Hope my guests love it. The bad thing about it is when you make something like this, you really can't taste it before your guests come because of the presentation won't be so good. But I'll let you know. Bye-bye. Okay, y'all, it's done. I snuck. I tasted them little bits around the corner. They better hear them get here. Or uh, a corner of this whole thing going to be missing. It's so good. Oh, my God, this crust is so good. I don't even like pie crust, and this pie crust is so good. It's nothing like making something from scratch. All right, let me show you. I did sprinkle some cinnamon sugar on top. Mm, mm, mm. Bon appetit! Okay, my guests are going to be arriving shortly. I wanted to show y'all the rest of the meal that's going to go with the apple pie dessert. So here we go. I have a beef stew. Um, there's a little bit of everything in here. The main thing is this dish is not spicy. Um, I have rice, which is going to be a base. I do have a small bowl of mashed potatoes. I didn't make a lot of potatoes because most um, people here eat rice as a base. Um, and then another thing that is <clears throat> able to go on top, this dish is spicy. It is curry, chicken, and vegetables. And then the side dish is sauteed vegetables here. Um, you'll notice you'll see a lot of the same vegetables being used. This has an addition of broccoli. Um, whereas broccoli is not in this dish, but you have onions, carrots, bell peppers, green beans, mushrooms. Um, but the flavor is slightly Asian. I used hoisin as well as soy sauce in this dish. So we have a little bit of an Asian inspired dish here, an Indian inspired dish here. This is more Southern. I have here basic sauteed cabbage. I did have some red bell pepper that I put in here. Um, so this is the meal. Um, everyone in Kwame signed up to go to Masamar except two of us and um, our city manager is here. So this meal is for three of us. I know it looks like a lot of food is mainly a lot of variety. So we're going to enjoy this meal. Um, shout out to everybody else in Kwame who's not here for this delicious meal. I know you might see this video. Sorry you're going to miss it. I'm not going to say I'm necessarily going to make it again. But I can't wait till they come and we enjoy this dish. Um, well, these dishes, I'm especially um, excited to taste the apple pie dessert. All right, I'm signing off. See you later.